Hello, this is Dr. Ali Emre Karadeniz, hair transplant surgeon, plastic surgeon, practicing hair restoration surgery exclusively for the last 15 years. And today I want to talk about AEK's hair transplant philosophy. And when I say philosophy, I'm mainly talking about quality. So let, let's look into that question. What is quality in hair restoration surgery? The first thing and most important probably regarding quality in hair transplant surgery is extensive surgical training. There are many business owners or hair transplant clinic owners that actually don't have training in hair restoration surgery. I have a plastic surgery background and plastic surgery training is uh, almost 15 years and it provides with a deep knowledge in uh, dealing with tissue surgically. So it teaches you how to deal with various type of tissue problems, repairing tissue defects, including trauma, cancer, burns, wounds, and all types of tissue repair. So before I started my hair restoration surgery practice, I actually practiced plastic and reconstructive surgery for over 10 years. And then I switched to hair restoration surgery exclusively. The plastic surgery training also provided me with sophisticated techniques, including removing tissue, repairing tissue, opening and closing wounds, and doing that in the best way so to cause the least amount of tissue damage. You could compare that to, let's say, clinics owned by medical doctors who do not have any surgical training. I mean, anybody could actually start practicing or learning hair restoration surgery, but you have to realize there's a huge difference between uh, having a surgical training background before doing that. Plastic surgery training enables me to use a variety of techniques, let's say including FUE, FUT, body hair transplants, eyebrow transplants, beard transplants, repair cases, and, and all sorts of sophisticated methods. It enables me to, let's say, do strip surgery, which makes me the only surgeon in my region that is uh, able to perform those procedures. It enables me to master FUE techniques, create my own surgical hair cloning technique, do sophisticated eyebrow transplants, use body hair transplant techniques when there are not enough scalp hair donors available, and so on. You could also compare that to, let's say, practices where a doctor freshly graduated from medical school and without any surgical training decided to shift to a hair transplant surgery because there is a business opportunity. The second thing regarding quality is uh, being involved in scientific activities and international accreditations. So let's say compare a doctor that just focuses on marketing versus a doctor that goes to regular scientific meetings, learns about the newest, the latest developments, shares his own experience, gives lectures to other doctors so they learn as well, and does scientific research and studies. The other thing is there are some international accreditations that do actually certify surgeons about the quality of practice they have. Let's say one of those important ones is the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. So I happen to be the only Turkish plastic surgeon with certification from the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. The other one is the most important hair society in the world, and that's the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery. You cannot just pay membership fee and become a member of those. So you have to fill certain scientific standards like attending meetings, giving talks and presentations. There is also the fellowship status of the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery, which I am also the only Turkish plastic surgeon with fellowship in the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery. The third important factor regarding quality in hair restoration surgery is medical ethics. Medical ethics is a broad term, but I think begins by prioritizing quality of medical service versus prioritizing marketing. I think that says it all. I mean, I could elaborate a little bit more on that. For instance, every business owner realizes that marketing is an important part of the business and sometimes the most important part. And so people who have a business background or are medical doctors, but uh, let's say as a personality have a business background, they quickly realize that marketing strength is by far the most important factor in the success of the business 
and the actual service itself becomes a detail that's perhaps the least important. But since this is a health service, that approach may bring success to the business owner, but it's doubtful it will provide quality to the patients. So when medical service is a priority over marketing, the other factor comes in. Training a professional surgical team versus outsourcing the surgical labor to freelancers. So I think, you know, although medical ethics is a very broad term, the most important factor determining quality in hair restoration surgery is prioritizing the medical service over marketing and therefore training and keeping a professional hair transplant team versus outsourcing it to freelancers is the most important. I hope this summary regarding AEK's hair transplant philosophy has been helpful.